The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Growers. Hey, it's Jessica Goose here with realagriculture.com and joining me right now is Dr. Megan Venkoski with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. Megan, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I am doing quite well. The sun is out. It is the first week in June, which is really exciting. Um, according to Saskatchewan's crop report, farmers have 99% of the crop in the field, which is good, which means next thing that they're gonna be doing is sweeping, which is what we're gonna be talking about today is kind of what we're gonna find with the friends, with the foes and what to look for. Um, uh, so first off, maybe give us some best management practices when a farmer does go out in the field. Sure. So, yeah, at this time of year, it's important to start scouting for those insect pests that you might uh, expect in your crop by commodity. So uh, I really suggest that people check out the Prairie Pest Monitoring Network blog. That's where they can find a lot of really good information, very specific scouting protocols for specific insect pests. And it's always good to have a plan. Don't go out wasting your time. Just looking for anything random, uh, follow those procedures that will really help with economic thresholds and guide the scouting that you're going to do in your fields. And so you went out, um, or you had some students go out into the field, and uh, and they swept. So what, so they swept a canola field? They actually or? swept some alfalfa, okay. because that was kind of what we could find that was green. Um, it's been very dry around Saskatoon this spring. We haven't had a lot of moisture until last night, and mm -hmm. even then it wasn't a lot. So we found some random greenery and just took some sweeps so that we could have something to show awesome. for, for this discussion. All right, so open up that bag. What are we looking for? So this is what a sweep net looks like. Um, when you go out and sweep, you're going to take nice 180 degree sweeps in front of you as you're walking. And then if you want to look, open the net up and look right away in the field, uh, you are going to have things fly out of the net at you right away. And those are often the beneficials or the good things like the pollinators and the natural enemies. Um, I've got a couple of ants floating around. There's a parasitoid sitting right here on the edge of the net right now. Um, so those are all some of the good things. And often the bad things are the things or the foes, the, the pests are what you're going to find deeper into the net. So a bunch of stuff just flowed on me here. You'll always have some spiders crawling out and then hopefully at the bottom you're going to see those beetles mm -hmm. or the weevils like the pea leaf weevil or the cabbage seed pod weevil that you'd be finding if you were scouting in alfalfa or in uh, canola mm -hmm. or peas. So maybe uh, let's start with the foes, those guys that we really don't want to see in there. What are we looking for typically? So it's all going to be commodity specific. Um, in canola we're watching out at this time of year starting to watch for adult Bertha armyworms and a few weeks from now as things start to flower, we'll be watching and scouting for the cabbage seed pod weevil. Uh, in peas, we're looking for pea leaf weevils right now, so we're actually on survey for adult pea leaf weevils. You go out and look for damage for those, you don't really sweep them. And as far as the beneficiaries, what are we seeing there? So for beneficial insects, we're looking for things like the parasitoids, um, ladybird beetles are really important predators of things like aphids. Um, and then a lot of ground beetles and, and other predators in your fields, you're not going to usually sweep up in a net, um, but those are going to be crawling around on the ground and doing some good things as far as destroying larvae and pupae that are on the ground. Mm -hmm. And so when, I guess, does a farmer kind of get concerned when he sees or she uh, sees a whole bunch of, like you said, either pea leaf weevil, uh, the cabbage weevil, uh, cabbage beetle there, what, uh, how many counts there do you kind of go, uh oh, I have a problem? So in the protocols that I mentioned that are on the Prairie Pest Monitoring Network blog, a lot of those have the economic threshold specifically uh, laid out there so that when a grower is out, they can do their sweep or do their damage count. They can knock all the insects off of the plants and take a, a count for what's in a, a, an area in the field. And our economic thresholds are laid out there or in various insect guides that are available throughout uh, throughout the provinces, or online, through the different provincial websites and things like mm -hmm. that. So it's important to follow those protocols and then apply the economic thresholds to, before you get worried. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And we'll be sure to link those uh, to realagriculture.com if you're listening to this on the podcast. And so what else uh, did you guys find here? It looks... Uh, Quite the cocktail. <laughs> yeah, there's a, a bunch of things crawling around. So the, the one bag, and you can just see like it's just leaping with flea beetles, all of these lovely little black things. 
are, uh, and, and flea beetles are a major point of uh, conversation right now across the prairies, I believe. So, uh, yep, lots of flea beetles are active right now. Um, we also, um, in alfalfa at this time of year, you're going to maybe see some adult blister beetles like this character here. But also the beneficial things like our ladybird beetles are out and active. And there's a lot of parasitoids flying around in some of these bags too. And uh, those are really important to combat a lot of our um, agricultural pests. Mm -hmm. What would you say maybe is just a common mistake that farmers do when they do sweep? So as far as sweeping, um, it is important to use the standard net because that's what all the economic thresholds are developed for. Make those 180 degree sweeps. And then I guess counting is really important. A lot of the thresholds are based on insects per sweep. So what I recommend is that after you've done your sweeping, dump everything into a sample bag like I've got here, put it in the freezer and take a few minutes to actually count everything that's in there so that you know for sure that you're getting the best estimate of what's in your field as far as the pest numbers. Mm -hmm. So putting it in, let them kind of cool off a little bit. <laughs> Probably a bit easier than having them fly around yeah, everywhere. Right now, everything's <laughs> flying around on me. It's hard to count. Uh, so yeah, definitely try to, to get it in, get your sample into a place where you can kill the insects and then look at them at your leisure and not be worried about losing what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you'd like to add, I guess, as a tip for farmers as they head into summer? Um, nothing in particular, but definitely keep your eye on the uh, Prairie Pest Monitoring Network blog. We have our weekly updates coming out as the growing season progresses. It helps guide what is active in fields at certain times of year based on models for our insects. Uh, so that can help guide the timing of scouting so that people aren't going out and putting a lot of effort in when the insect they're looking for isn't even present yet. So, gotcha. Makes sense. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thank you.